Ghana is an African football powerhouse. The sport is played in towns and villages all across the country, by players with two feet and by those with only one. I'm Samuel Kwachi of A. We are the founders of the National Amputee Team. I started playing this National Amputee Team in 2007. With two continental titles and several World Cup appearances, the national team has had quite some success. In 2021, they won CANAF, the Cup of African Nations in Amputee Football in Tanzania. We won the first Maiden Amputee Cup in Africa. We went to Argentina. We are the first African country to qualify to the semi-final. But how is the sport played? Coach Benjamin Ama helps us break it down. There is a difference between amputee football and able football. The normal football, we have offside, but amputee football, we don't have offside. And amputee football is a severe side game. It's not contact sport, it's a severe side game. But normal game is 11. In our throwing, when the ball goes to throw, we don't throw with our hand. We pray, we pray with our legs. But if intentionally, the ball touches the crutches, or use the crutches to kick the ball, it's foul. And intentionally, if you use your amputated leg to kick the ball, it's foul. That's to keep things fair. Because what remains of athletes' amputated limbs are all of different lengths and maneuverability. To qualify for the team, players' legs must be removed at least above the knee. Except for the goalie, of course, who instead is missing an arm. All play without the help of prosthesis. We are all amputees, but that does not mean that all of us are having left leg or right leg. Some is right, some is left. So if you buy a pair of shoes, you have to share with your friend because we can't throw the one away. Samuel's hometown of Ebri in Ghana's eastern region is known for its master wood carvers. After losing his leg in an accident as a child, he learned the craft as a way to survive. Today, it's what sustains him. When I have the wood in my hand, Sometimes my brain will teach me what to do, or sometimes if I watch the wood, the shape of the wood will tell me what to use the wood for. Whenever I'm carving, I don't feel stressed, because that's what I'll eat, I'll do to eat. So anytime I see wood, I'm happy. But Samuel's pride in his work is laced with a bitterness for what he sees as a lack of institutional and financial support for the sport in favor of Ghana's better known able-bodied national team, the Black Stars. In recent years, the amputee team has faced funding issues, which resulted in unpaid flight tickets and ultimately a ban from the International Amputee Football Confederation for arriving late to the World Cup. The government is not putting any effort in the amputee team. All the attention, all the media, everything is on the blasters. They train on a good pitch, good jersey, everything, quality. But we are a boot. We buy everything ourselves. We don't get any salary from any government. They should treat us all together because we are all national assembly. Despite the challenges, the team remains optimistic about the future of their sport in the country, with hopes for their next trophy growing with each new recruit. Some of them say, oh, we can play. I say, oh, you can play. My advice to my fellow disabled in Ghana is that all the whole world, if you are a disabled, that does not mean that you can't do anything. Your head is there, your eyes are there, your nose are there, your ears are there, your hands, only your one leg. So I'm pleading, I'm pleading, I'm pleading. Everybody who is a disabled, if you don't have anything to do, you can come to play ball. 